Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys probably the easiest lace installation I've ever done on my channel. It's truly beginner friendly, super easy, super quick, nothing complicated at all. And the unit I'm using is from RPG Show. It is this long straight number. I'm not sure exactly how long this is, but I'll put all the specs in the description box. And it's mainly dark brown and it has some subtle highlights all throughout the wig. It comes already pre-plucked, so you don't have to do any tweezing if you don't want to. So with this wig, up to this point, all I did literally was trim the lace off. I put it onto my mannequin head, I clipped the hair back so it's up and out of the way, and I just cut the lace off following the hairline that's already on the wig. So that's really easy just to cut right in front, like directly in front of where the hair on the wig starts is what I did all around the front and I just cut the back lace completely off. I didn't bleach the knots but actually it looks like it's pre-bleached so that's good if it is. If not, I didn't feel the need to bleach the knots on this. Didn't remove any hair on here, didn't thin it out in any way. Literally just cut the lace off. It comes with a pre-attached adjustable elastic band and it has three combs inside two on each side and one comb in the back it also has the adjustable strap here so i got my cornrows my hair is flat and i pinned it up in the back gonna take a stocking cap and put that on i usually just do this to protect the back of my head and keep it from snagging on the inside of the wig so i just push that all the way back like that to the middle part of my head. And someone had asked before um, if the cap slips back on me throughout the day. I've never had that happen. So no, it stays put and I've used tons of different caps and they've never slid back. I'm gonna tighten the adjustable strap some so I get a snug fit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and position the wig on my head. Just gonna comb the hair out. I know my wig is sliding back right now because I was combing it, but we'll fix that in a second. So now I'm gonna take my hot comb and go through, especially over the top, to flatten it. Just make it look as flat as I can get it. One telltale sign of a wig is when your hair, the wig hair is like, is sitting up on top of your head. It looks like you're wearing a hat. You want it to be flat <laughs> at the top. Now I'm taking my flat iron and straightening the rest, just giving it a quick pass all over. So it's super sleek. And now I'm going to get this wig in the correct position, right there. Push those side combs in once I've gotten it where I want it. And really the only other thing that is a must for me is to add some concealer to the part, just to bring it out some more. So I have my MAC Studio Finish. I'm going to take it on this tiny brush here. Blend that out with my finger. And that, my dears, is it. One, two, three, easy as pie, straight out of the box. And this is with no adhesive, no gel, nothing like that. Let me move closer in so you can see the scalp. And by the way, just to put it out there, wearing wigs glueless like this, it works if you're wearing a style that is down and is covering the sides. But if you want to be able to push it back, if you are in a place that might have some wind, you might uh, want to do a little bit more because it can definitely fly up. So if you want to add something like this, some got to be glue around here to get this super flush and keep it from lifting, you can do that. Just uh, apply a little glue, tie down the wig for maybe 10, 15 minutes and you should be good. So you could absolutely stop here if you want. If you are the type of person that you don't like any type of 
flare on your edges if you don't like any swoops. If you don't like the baby hair look, you can start right here and be good. But I do. I like that look. I just think it helps to frame the face and brings a little more pizzazz to the hair. So what I'm going to do is brush down some of the edges on the wig to frame my face. And of course I'm wearing this glueless so it, you know, it will tend to lift on the sides if you pull it back. But <laughs> what I'm going to do is take some of the edges on the wig, just a small little sliver, not even that much. I'm going to take some of that back. And my hairline is lower than the hairline that was on this particular wig. So my edges are right there, which is not a problem actually. If you just look at it like this, it kind of blends in with the wig. I'm going to cut this. And using this edge control, I will link it below. I'm going to put some on this edge brush and just bring that down. And it helps to keep the lace down on the side as well. I'm going to take some hair from right in the front, again a tiny, tiny sliver, I'm going to trim it short, brush that into place. my edge control and my edge brush and if you add a little dab of edge control right at the lace where it starts it'll lay it down and then lastly a little piece on this side Dab of edge control to keep the lace flat and I'm going to put some on the ear tabs as well. Just to help keep that laying down. And now since I've been manipulating it so much I'm just re-straightening it making it look smooth again. So this is it guys my easy truly beginner friendly lace wig install. This hair is really full, it's light, it's bouncy. This is how long the hair is. Close up of the parting. Of course, if you want to, you can uh, use adhesive and tack all of it down. I usually use got to be glue, but if I want to throw on a quick style with not a lot of steps and you know, all that fuss, this is a really good go to. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will put all the information on this RPG show unit down below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch up with you soon on my next video. Bye.